Well, it looks like we're on to episode two of Netflix's Resident Evil. My thoughts on it, you know, so far is two down, another another six to go. That, that's really my thoughts on it. You know, I'm I'm just at the point with it where I just I can't be bothered. I really can't be bothered with it. Uh, and you know, I don't want to be here as long as as long as the previous review, which ended up 41 minutes. Uh, I'm looking to just. Because I've got kind of got the weekend that I'm just going to go, I'm just going to rattle through them, really. Just rattle through them, try and get the reviews done as quickly as possible, because otherwise it takes about five hours just to get it uploaded. Uh, that That's on YouTube's end, by the way. Sometimes they take fucking ages to just get it all processed. Uh, so hopefully we can get this one out a lot earlier than the last night's, which I think came out like midnight or something. Uh, so it was missed. It was it was missed by many eyes. Uh, so we're just going to dive in because as a, I've got loads of shit to do, uh, so we just need to rattle through them this weekend, uh, and it will. I'll still have it like just one a day, uh, but let's dive back in. So when we finished, when we finished, she was diving off this big drop. Now we've now got a, a frame of this drop, uh, and yeah, I'm I'm not being funny, but. Uh, again, I've already pointed out the plot armor in this show, at least in the first episode, uh, and they decided to show us this. But again, it's like, do you honestly think she's not breaking her legs or killing herself by jumping from that height? Uh, we already pointed out, even at the at the very, even if she doesn't break her leg or anything, it's like she's also got all these zombies down here to contend with. Uh, but you know, it, I suppose it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, and it, and again, it's it's another it's the the way these this series is kind of set up is just it's just choppy. It's all over the place because we've of course got this timeline, which is twenty thirty six, and we've also got the timeline of twenty twenty two, and it's just we just throw twenty twenty two in there randomly. It's like something could be happening. It's got there's no connection. There's no connection to the scenes or anything. It's just like, now! Throw it in there now! That's what it's like. You, you probably get maybe about two minutes of 2036, and then it's generally more of 2022. Uh, which, you know, at least you've got... At least you've got Albert Wesker in fucking in that. Uh, again, a character that, I, as I've said, I'd, I'd rather just follow him about. Just focus on him. I, I don't care about these two girls. I'm not interested in listening about feelings, but we've spoke about that long enough. Let's move on. It's already been three minutes. Uh, I'm I'm really hoping we can get done in twenty. But yeah, she so she, yeah she lands on this thing. Look, it's like bullshit, and she gets up uninjured, perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, and then she realizes, oh, maybe I shouldn't have jumped because there's zombies down there. Uh, so they all chase her. Yeah, yeah, they all chase her, and then the guy. If you're at the the Umbrella Corporation, that they're like these agents are on top there, and the guy says, uh, d "Like, don't let her die." And I, I just find that funny because eventually we come to a point if we just, uh, you know, what else I find funny about all the gaps in this? It's funny how we've got big gaps uh, where we we need the the actor to go. We've got these big gaps where there's no zombies. Uh, it's just very lucky. It's very lucky that wherever you go, there's a big gap there. So you haven't really got to contend with many zombies. But yeah, there's like this truck that comes blasting through. Uh, I I don't even I don't even know why they because this is like one of the guys that they they were trying to get a bounty like get a bounty for her, uh, and for some reason he thinks oh I'll go and help her. Uh, and then later on, he points a fucking gun in her face. <laughs> so why did you bother saving her? So yeah, the guy says, so so like all the all the Umbrella Corporation like agents are all blasting like zombies as she's running away. Uh, and yeah, yeah. So, so she's on the on the top of the truck, and it, maybe we can see a frame of the. Uh, maybe now I don't think we can see it. 
But so, yeah, so that big fat guy with a with a beard. I, I don't know if he's Scottish or something. Uh, there's there's parts in this where I'm like, is that a Scottish accent? Um. So yeah, he says to his he said to his agents, don't don't let her die. Yet they're firing on the on the top of this truck, like right next to her. It's like no, he told you not to kill her. <laughs> he told you to make sure she she doesn't die. But they're just fucking blasted willy nilly. Uh, so they drive off, and then we get our title sequence, and then we're we're back with the in the twenty twenty two story, uh, which is with Billy being bitten by a dog, uh, and she does wake up, so she didn't die. Uh, why her sister hasn't called like ambulances or anything like that, I, I don't know. Uh, why, with all the all the alarms blaring, still nobody has shown up. No cops. Uh, they're, they're on the way now. It, it took them half an hour to respond to the alarms blaring out of the Umbrella Corporation. A corporation that has a lot of secrets that they don't want to get out. <clears throat> uh, and then, yeah, then they So then Albert Wesker shows up. I don't know why he knew they were there. It doesn't show you, like, oh, he's seen them on a, on a camera or something like that. He just randomly shows up. So I don't know. Did they call him off screen or something like that? I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, so, so he says to... To Jade, I'll oh, take her home, and they're like, "What? No, she needs to go to a hospital. She's been bit. She's got all these teeth marks, you know." Uh, let's see, because I, I I made sure I took notes this time, just in case I missed anything. Uh, yeah, they yeah yeah he says to them, "Go before Umbrella sees you." It's like, no, they've probably because because if you remember from the previous episode, the Umbrella Corporation that has a lot of secrets. They they only had one camera outside. They didn't have any cameras in the building, apparently. <laughs> so it's like no, they've probably already been seen. But they, I, I think they do eventually cover their asses on that end. Uh, but even then, it's like there there was no one. There was there's no one constantly watching the CCTV. Uh, the Umbrella Corporation that has a lot of secrets. So yeah, basically what he, he basically fries the camera. So so there was loads of cameras in the building, yet the two idiotic girls just worried about the one outside. But again, it's like surely, I I, I just find it weird that the Umbrella Corporation don't have anyone watching CCTV constantly, so they should have already been seen. They they, they it's as if they haven't even bothered looking at any of the source material, isn't it? Uh, that, that's probably because it represents none of the source material. You know, I, I thought I was getting into a show about zombies, but there's barely any. There's barely anything. You, you know, I've, I've only played Resident Evil 2 and 3, and I really get no, get nothing. There's no comparison. There's no similarities. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, then Albert Wesker decides to... So he puts like the the blood of the dog in him and all that kind of stuff, just because he's covering for the two girls. So he's going to come up with a a bit of a a bit of lying, have a bit of a lie. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just thought to myself, you better make sure you clean because he he dips his hands in the dot in the puddle with the dog's blood. It's like are you gonna are you gonna like make sure they don't see that you have stuck your hands in it. Uh, and then again, we're back. Now we're back to 2036. Just randomly thrown in there. It's got no connection to anything. It's got no, you know, oh, we've had a scene like this. And this scene kind of works with that scene. It's just like, nah, throw it in now. Throw it in. All right, come on. Oh, we're almost at 10 minutes and all. Fucking hell. And we're, we're, <laughs> we're only seven minutes into the episode. Uh, I'm really trying to keep these as short as I can. So, yeah, this guy. So what he does, like, see if you can see those spikes up there. Uh, the spikes just behind him there. He goes flat out while she's on top of the roof because she's she's only just decided to tell him to stop because I'm f hanging about hanging on a roof 
Well, he's going flat out, even though you should really fall off that. I, th I think we've been over that when it comes to action movies, that it's not really something that... Can, you, you know what? I'll give it them. I'll give it them because there is some handrails. So fair enough, whatever. Uh, but yeah, he, he just luckily... It, it, uh, yeah, it doesn't even really work with the way... It's like, no, the car was right next to it. And you managed to stop right... Because it's right that stopped right there on her head. So then he gets out. It, again, I don't know. Why did he save her? For what reason? Because he tells her, right, fuck off now. So why did you save... Why did you even save her? But yeah, he... So he saved her. And now he wants her to... Wants her to leave... Because the Umbrella Corporation are after her. So why did you stop for her in the first place? I, I, he must have been expecting a tip or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, she tells him, well, the, the Umbrella Corporation are going to hunt you down as well. Uh, and then we get zombies uh, just now falling off, falling off the top of that bridge or whatever it is. Uh, she tries to save him. I don't know why. It's like they've already bitten into him about a thousand times. You're a bit late to the party. Uh, so, yeah, he dies. Uh, and then she drives off. Uh, and then we're back to 2022 again. Fucking hell. You, you get about a, a minute and a half of like the actual like in the present before you have to go back to the past. So the cops show up and they find they find uh, Wesker. You can see him just just laying there. So he's just gonna bullshit him a bit. Uh, these the two girls get back. Uh, yeah, they so yeah he just gives a whole song and dance about uh, that. So, someone hacked all the computers. Someone hacked all the computers, which then let this dog out, uh, and then he managed to Wesker managed to kill it. Uh, and then we get Wham and Boss. Uh, her name is Evelyn. Uh, it, it's, they make it so obvious that she's a villain. It's like, yeah, we get it. She, she just constantly says things that are just, like, evil. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then say, walks in and says, clear the room. I just thought, you're not a cop. You know, all the cops fuck off. It's like, no, she's she's not a cop. Uh, I'm just I'm just glancing at my notes as well, just so I don't miss anything. Now that yeah, the, it, it does get it does get funnier with your with your wham and boss. Uh, yeah, so they're like talking about what happened. She was like, "Well, we'll find out. We'll find out about it." Uh, but yeah, she's like obviously a villain. Uh, yeah, and then for some reason, a wife shows up. So, so what? I, I'm surprised they're not going to get in trouble for this for making the lesbian the the villain. Uh, well, let's be honest; it's just going to turn out she's actually just misunderstood. But she, yeah, she's like desperate for for Wesker to get on this. It, it's it's some it's something called Joy, the project that uh, uh, Wesker's working on, uh, which is to you know, it's like pills or something like that. Uh, he and like he, he explains to her. I mean, after what we've seen with this dog, I I don't really think we should we should continue with this. We should continue with it with this particular medicine because we we've, we've seen. But she's like, nah, fuck off, no, do it, get it done. We'll 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 get it done next time. So no, I don't I don't think so. So yeah, a wife shows up for some reason. I I don't even know why this is in it. It's got of little relevance. Uh, but it, it was pretty obvious that was the way this was going. But yeah, I'm just like, well, what's what's this got to do with anything? Because I I don't imagine this is gonna like, because I, I I don't even know why my wife's there to be honest. I don't I don't know why she's shown up. Uh, but they they have an argument and then she then her wife storms off. But yeah, it's just boring shit. They don't really say anything about nothing. Uh, no importance. Yeah, then yeah, this is when we get a funny part where Wesker says, <laughs> uh, "Yeah, what is 
So, so the yeah, Billy says, "Will I have to quarantine?" Uh, quarantine, and Wesker says, "No, it's not. It's not COVID. It's it's not that. Like, no, it's the T fucking virus. Uh, it's worse than COVID. A lot of fucking. It's zombies. Uh, you tell me. Oh, you don't need to quarantine. You've been bitten by a by a zombified dog. You don't have to quarantine though. It's not like COVID." It's like, it's a fucking T-virus, you dumb shit. It's like, you know what it can do, because you've seen the dog. But yeah, then they start questioning him about... Uh, about the rabbits. Like, why why they... He asked why they went there, and they said, Oh, well, we seen... I seen rabbits when I was at your work. And I thought you were testing on them. It's like, Albert Wesker just comes across as a shitty liar. He doesn't. He doesn't really tell them a good lie or anything like that. It's just like, no, we're not testing them. It's like, what do you got them for then? What are you petting them? Do Do you have like a little break now and again just to pet the rabbits? It's like it's obvious you're testing on them. There's There's no other reason for having rabbits in a lab other than being tested on. But he does mention. He, he does like go to say something and then stops himself. He says. He says the word cure. We're, we're trying to cure, and, and then he, he sort of stops himself. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it for that. Yeah, yeah. now we're going to go back to 2036. Uh, and this, yeah, we're now in, we're now in Dover. Uh, so Jade is in Dover, where the Umbrella Corporation, are, it's like you just ran away from them. You're going to go back to them now. <laughs> Uh, but it's just I really hate the the sort of world building in this. It, it's like it doesn't. It's the end of the world. Yeah, everybody's got tablets. Uh, there's all these cities and all that. It's I thought it was the end of the world. It doesn't seem to be. It doesn't come across that way. You know, everyone seems to be living pretty much the same. There, there's very little issues with zombies. It seems like. Uh, but Jade said in the previous episode we have to learn to live. With the zombies that are gonna eat our fucking brains. <sighs> Great plan. So she's got a hood up, uh, and she yeah she's going to see, she's going to see uh, Barry. She says, and this is this is his wife at the door. Uh, she's obviously, you know, she's hiding something. The woman's hiding something. Uh, but yeah, she's one of those those English. All right, love, you know, sort of like. Sort of like that. So, yeah, so Jade is asking, uh, I need to speak to Barry. Uh, I, I think she needs to get smuggled out of something. There's all these cats. Uh, yeah, what happens? Yeah, so she's she's asking. Yeah, she wants, so that's what, yeah, she wants to use, like, to, so she can contact her husband, where wherever he is. So she goes in this room to, talk to him uh, again it's like they've all got tablets and everything is it, is it really the end of the world the internet isn't down or anything like that the internet isn't down no all right you know they do again they're doing a shit job of conveying to me that this is the end of the world it doesn't seem like it uh, but yeah he says to her you need to get back to back to cali and uh, she's like why do i need to go there um you know, I think that's pretty much it for that. Yeah, the, yeah. So she finishes talking to, talking to him about some shite, uh, and then yeah, she. So Jade comes back in, sits down, and says, "I'm waiting for Barry." And then the the wife is like, "I'll, I'll call Umbrella. I'll call Umbrella." She's obviously hiding something. It's pretty obvious, uh, blatantly obvious. Uh, and then they start hearing a a bang on the wall. It's like you didn't, and she the woman just goes, "Oh, it's the cat! Oh, it's the cat making that racket, is it? Fumping. That's what cats do. They've got the strength to thump a fucking wall." Uh, so she isn't a good liar either. Yeah, and then it turns out that Barry's in there. Barry's in there, all chained up. He's been chained up. There's, I, I believe, there's like dead cats and all that in the in the bathtub as well. 
So this woman's a bit of a fucking idiot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's just saying, oh, he'll get out and kill you. Because, uh, yeah, apparently this guy came back and chained himself after because he'd been bitten by an animal <laughs> uh, on one of his trips. Uh, yeah, and she's trying to... So Jade says to her, is there, is there anyone else that you know of that could help me out? Uh, she's like, N no, but Barry... Barry just so happens to have a, 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 like a notepad in his pocket. So we've now got to get a, a dumbass scene with Jade trying to trying to get the, it's just kill the just kill the prick, just kill it. It's like who cares what the wife is? It's like you know it wouldn't be as bad, but it's just a dumb scene. It's it's like it just make it just makes Jade look like a fucking idiot. So she's going in there with the yellow pages on the on her arm and all that. She's got a a, a wooden spoon. It's what the fuck are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do with that? In hell. But yeah, that's what. So she's she's not going in there to kill him. She's just going to fumble around and try and find a notebook. Uh, she checks one pocket and says, "Oh, it's not here." It's like you do realize most people have more than one pocket. <laughs> so it's a bit of a silly question. So yeah, so she's like all fucking all awkward trying to trying to get this notebook uh, from this zombie, and and she doesn't even bother. It's it's like th this zombie is right in front of her, pulling on its hand to try and break out of the. You know, it's, it's funny how it hasn't done it already. It's funny how oh no, he's only going to do it now. Now that the story is happening, that's when he's going to be able to break free. He didn't have the opportunity to do it before. His wife didn't need a shit at any point uh, in the past six months or something. Uh, everything's fucking six months in in, in this show. It's like, because she hasn't seen, Jade hasn't seen her husband for six months. She hasn't seen Barry for six months. You do realise there's, there's more numbers. But yeah, she's just like fumbling around trying to get this notebook. Not How, how are you not seeing this guy wiggling, wiggling his fucking arm out? So they, yeah, then she, he jumps at her and then he goes for the wife. And then she, then, uh. Jade kills him with a pipe for his head, and the wife is like, you killed him. No, he's already dead. He's already dead. But, you know, fair enough, she's a bit delusional. That, that's just a trope at this point, isn't it, now? It's like everybody that has, like, they end up locking their, you know, their loved one. It's like, no, they're dead. They're dead. It's, you know, you're just, it's just sick. It's just sick at that point. So, yeah, so she's just like, you killed him. Get the fuck out before I call the cops. Uh, and Jade is like, yeah, that's the plan. And then she's, yeah, she says, oh, and the, the dead cats in the bath is sick. Uh, and then we're back to 2022. Come on. Let's let, we got, let's try and get it done in, in, in another seven minutes. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, it's it's just lucky that it was only the first episode that was an hour. The rest of them are like forty five minutes, so it's not as bad. So uh, yeah, what's what's happening there? I don't know if I've written anything down. Uh, we we've always got to, got to go back to the. No I've just kind of written down basic shit. I'm just because I was originally just going to watch the next episode, and ju it was just so I didn't fucking forget anything. Uh. You know, it's just as well, because I'm already forgetting shit. Yeah, no, he's just sitting with the daughter, that's it. That's And then, yeah, then Jade goes looking, because if you remember, she, it was very contrived. She managed to, because Wesker now uses every the same password on everything. Albert Wesker, Albert Wesker does that. So, like, she got into his, into his laptop and it it was the there was some incident in Tijuana. We've already seen like the the clip of this, so she's looking it up on the internet. And it seems highly unlikely you're going to find any of them. Uh, yeah, she's on like the like the third like the third page she goes to. She finds a site that's blocked. That it's like before she clicks on it, it says uh, the tr what the truth it, of what happened in Tijuana or something. She finds it very easily, but she can't get into it into this site because uh, it's all it's all restricted. 
uh, because the Umbrella Corporation is a very secretive company, yet they don't have cameras everywhere. Uh, yet they don't have people constantly watching CCTV. Yet they don't have people, co uh, like when alarms start going off, be there in a split second. Uh, so she's like, I don't want to go to school. And he's like, no, fucking 15 minutes you get in a fucking car. Uh, yeah, and then we're, Wesker's in the lab. T he's testing his daughter's blood. Uh, they're they're in the bed. They don't uh, they don't say anything. Yeah, but yeah, he's, he injects this this little little mouse. Yeah, so, is it? Is that a, that's a guinea pig, isn't it? Yeah, it's a guinea pig. So he injects that with something, and then so so yeah. If you remember, we've seen Wesker injecting himself with stuff in the first episode. So his watch starts like going off because he's supposed to he's supposed to take it now. So he starts like having like a sort of epileptic epileptic fit. Uh, so he injects himself and he's all fine. Uh, I, this this bit I actually found hilarious. It's like if if so yeah this this girl like it's like it's supposed to be that she's just knocked into her by accident. That, that's that's what they've tried to present it as. That's what it is. But yet you can clearly see the girl walking towards her, looking at her, going, I'm going to walk into you. So obvious. Great acting, great performance. You know, it didn't look like you'd done that on purpose. Uh, yeah, and apparently she's in a rush because some boy has got a new anime because in this umbrella sort of sort of environment they're in, they can't get torrents and shit like that. But luckily, luckily, as Jade needs to get into this site, there's a guy that can get behind firewalls. That's lucky, isn't it? That's very lucky. And it just so happens that on this day, a girl bumped into you and mentioned this. And mentioned... There's a guy over there that can get behind the firewall. But they, they really don't want to put any effort in, do they? They just want to go, oh, no, she knocks into someone, someone mentions it. Oh, and she walks over there, and now she's in the site. Now she's in the blocked website. Okay, now, that's, that's just lazy as fuck, that really is. <laughs> oh, it's so obvious and all. So, yeah, she goes over to this guy on the firewall... Uh, that well, that can get around firewalls. She starts talking to him. She said, "Yeah, she says, uh, she says something like you're disgusting, and then says, but I need your help. You know, maybe the best way to get help is not go around calling people disgusting. Uh, but she won't tell him what it is, and he's like, oh well, it must be porn then. It must be porn. Uh, but yeah, then yes, yeah, so yeah, she says, well, if you do it for me, what do you want? And he says, oh, I have that necklace around your neck. That's what you went with. You know, I could have thought of multiple things and you went with the neck, the shitty necklace around your neck that has, does it have any meaning? Don't think so. So, yeah, he decides to help her uh, and he's in within about 20 seconds. I'm pretty sure it takes longer than that. It doesn't take 20 seconds. And, oh, he's taught himself as well. He's taught himself to do this. Uh, so he gets in there pretty easily. Yeah, and then we just get a load of writing in black about infected animal pharmaceutical. Uh, so this is like a whistleblower that has had it, had it blocked. Uh, and then, yeah, then Jade decides to send it an email. So it's a blocked site. Is he, is he going to get that if it's blocked? I don't know. But yeah, she just sends him, oh, contact me, my email address is this. So then now we're back to 2036, fucking hell. Oh, we're not far off now, we're not far off. You know, because what I'm trying to do is, I'm try trying to get the episode three done tonight as well, so that's ready for tomorrow. Got to batter through them, so they're all done by the end of the weekend. Because uh, I've got more important shit to get back to. Uh, something that's taken a very long time. So yeah, this guy's come back, uh, come to this woman's house because they've seen, uh, they've seen the like uh, Jade in the area. 
someone they're looking for. So, but do they know what the exact house? You've been going around knocking on every other door, but you just come straight here. Dunno. But yeah, she, yeah, she says, yeah, he's got like a hair in his fucking cookie and all that. So yeah, she, he shows her a picture and she tells, yeah, she was around here. Uh, but now we're back with Jade anyway, and she's gone to this pub. Uh, yeah, because like, remember she got Barry's little little black book of contacts. Uh, I forget what this guy's name is. Uh, but she basically storms in there and says, oh, uh, Barry sent me. So, so, because what she's looking for is, is a way to get across the channel. Uh, get a ferry to uh, Calais. Is the, do you know if the guy's going there? I, I don't know if she knows the guy's going there. Uh, but yeah, she g gives up her wedding ring and says, oh, well, this will be a pay. He's like, no, it's not enough. Uh, so he's like, here, fucking sling your up, love. Uh, it's not enough. So she steals, steals a bottle of, uh, a bottle of whiskey or something, gives it to this guy, and then the guy never sees, like, because they, they deal with these, like, little chips. I, I'm guessing this is their, like, what they use for their way off. You know, it's like basically a payment. Going, oh, well, I've got my, I've got my little token. So that gets me on the ferry. So she gives this guy, gives this guy a bottle of whiskey and then steals his chip, like, right in front of his eyes. He never spotted it. But fair enough, he's pissed. All right, so now we're back to 2022 again. Uh, and Wesker's going in to see the whammon boss. Uh, he says, how's your, how's your wife? Uh, and then, yeah, she's just like, she knows that Wesker's been shooting up stuff or whatever it is. Uh, I, I, I have actually seen images and I, I, I'll leave it for when we get there. I have seen images of further on where he's finally Albert Wesker. Uh, but yeah, he just kind of gets cucked by this woman. <laughs> uh, you know, I do feel sorry for this actor because you know, as I said the last one, he is, he's he's because uh, I forgot what, he, but he's been in like John Wick and I believe like his like The Wire and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so he's probably went in. Oh, this will be a good gig, and he's like, oh, oh. I, I think it's the same as Do Ray Scott in uh in Batwoman. You know, you feel sorry for the, for him that he's been. He's been sold this bullshit and he can't get out of it. You know, he's out of it now, but for a long time he couldn't. So she knows all this and, uh, yeah, that he's been shooting up some stuff. Uh, and he's he's like, I'm out, I'm done. Because cause she wants him to continue the project called Joy. And he's like, what well, you've seen. You've seen what it's done. It's like, and she's like, we need to get it done in two in two months. Really? You've seen the stage it's at. It's turning fucking dogs into zombies. And you're like, two months will do it. Two months will fix the problem. Oh, we're so close now. Uh, she starts looking in, looking in the mirror. Look, uh, uh, a bite. She spews up. Yeah, the, the dog can obviously sense that she's got this infection. Because uh, he's, he, he, yeah, he's barking at her. Uh, he's just barking like, going, no, I'm not going out with you. I'm not going out with you. Uh, yeah, and, and then, so so already this guy's got back to Jade about the, like, she sent him an email. Uh, and she's like, uh, yeah, he says to her we should talk. Uh, video chat? Uh, and the one thing I will p point out that I find, found funny, see if you can see it. So there's there's no inter internet connection. <laughs> they forgot about that part. <laughs> they they forgot that. Oh, it says, it says there's no. Uh, uh, you might not be able to see it, but yeah, it's it's very obvious that there's no. No, you've got no internet on that. How are you talking to this guy? How are you talking to talking to this guy? You you really shouldn't have errors like that. Come on, you know it's not a big deal, but it's just like surely you must see that. The the camera guy didn't see it. The editors didn't see it. Never noticed it. You know, that would have been an easy thing to fix as well. But she's talking to this French guy. I don't know if he's French. I'm really getting mixed, like, confused on accents in this show. 
It sounds South African, but it also sounds French. It's a bit all over the place. Uh, the same with the other guy where I'm like, is he Scottish or is he South African? I fucking couldn't tell you. But yeah, this guy's this guy's telling a. It's like, is this on a secure line as well? So maybe this guy doesn't want to be too out there. He might want to play it safe a bit. Uh, but does he does he really say much? No. Doesn't say too much. He, he just says basically what we already know uh, about Tijuana, about the fact that Umbrella Corporation uh, are bad. It's, it's like, yeah, we know that. Uh, we know that they yeah they like they they always cause the death of people. There's been like nine nine deaths in one specific facility. He he says about a man that went all just started going crazy after seventy two hours of being bitten by an infected animal. Uh, the say and part of me is like I'm starting to see what you what you might be going for. Because we already know Billy's alive in 2036, and she wants to see her see her sister. So I'm starting. To, they're not going to make her Albert Wesker, are they? They're, they're not going to make make like her the the one in charge or something like that. That's 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 what I think they they're going for. I'm like, she's not going to be just just Albert Wesker, basically. Uh, but yeah, she's like, I'm not talking to you unless you reveal your face. So he's like, all right then. Oh, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say why I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, okay then. I'll just listen to you. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, school teacher. A school teacher shouts her, and they're off. Uh, so Billy's out. Yeah, Billy's out a walk with her dog, and her dog's like just pulling her, just pulling her. Uh, and then, yeah, get, gets out of this fucking lead. Gets out of the collar. It's like really, really, it managed to get out the collar. You know, it's very hard to do. You you have to have it very, very loose for that to happen. Uh, it has happened with my dog, but you know, still, it's like really, you know, it's it's a rare occurrence. You, you must have you you put the fucking collar on him, you put the lead on him, and the, the guy's like, you need to put a put a harness on him. It's not actually a good idea, by the way. You're always better off with just a lead on the collar. Uh, it's more, especially if you've got a mental dog. I've got a dog that just fucking barks at every dog we pass. And uh, you, like, if you have a harness on them, they can like fucking spin around and shit. Whereas if you've got a lead, they can't really do that. But yeah, she's going. She's going to take the dog back off him, and the dog's just fucking wanting to go for her. And he's like, "Is this even your dog?" It's like, I, I don't really think she's just walking about with someone else's dog. It's like, this is a very tight-knit community. Not that many people there. It's like, you it's like you would just call the cops, but the guy's like, uh, no, I think I need to take this. I'll, I'll take it to the, to the dog pound. Just call the cops, and then you can sort the situation out. But yeah, I, I don't really think most people are going to do that. It's like if, if a dog run, and I if I catch a dog and someone comes up to, I'm I'm not really going to go no, I'm just going to give it to them. But yeah, they go through this this thing about three times where she's going to grab the dog and the dog doesn't want to go near her. Uh, it's just barking at her, and it's like yeah, she then she fucking knocks the guy out. So that's what I'm saying. Well, it's obviously the T the T virus makes you stronger, doesn't it? Uh, at least in in certain cases. So that that's why I think they're just going to make her Albert Wesker, aren't they? They're just going to make her the 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 big boss wham and <laughs> uh, the, yeah, the dog's calm now. It took a bit of physical violence to calm it down, uh, and then we're back to. 20, 20, 20, uh, We're almost finished now. Uh, and then, yeah, it just so happens on the night that they're leaving, uh, they show up and they've found them. Uh, and there's just this drone blasting at them. Re remember, remember this guy here said, don't kill her. Uh, make sure she, she stays alive. Because we, we obviously work for her sister. Uh, but the drone's just like shooting. It's not really... Aiming, it's just fucking blah, 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 like that. So I, th I thought you didn't want her dead. 
Oh, no, that's right. She's got plot armor, so it doesn't really matter where you shoot. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, she starts, she's going all zombified. Uh, yeah, and then we cut on this with this, why, why do, it's like, no, surely you must have had that in strong glass. So, like, the, the guinea pig's, like, smashing against it, and it finishes on it. Uh, yeah, it, fin it breaks out. So it breaks out, so we've now got that in the loose. Oh, it's going it's to take us the whole season till we, actu till we actually see... The start of this, isn't it? They're just dragging it out. And that brings us to the end of the episode. Fucking hell. It it, it took us the same time it did yesterday. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, so that means it's going to be fun uploading. Uh, but that's that's another episode. And we're finished. I'm not really going to say much. I've, I've just got, I really want to get these done. So ho hopefully, hopefully this gets out earlier than last night. Uh, it's just when it's when it's when it's processing the HD quality, it takes fucking ages. Uh, it takes quite a while, so we'll finish it off there. But yeah, that's another episode of Resident Evil, even though you know it's not really a Resident Evil. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's just a boring show where randomly we cut to these events and randomly we go back to the. It's just random. Uh, but yeah, I'd rather just... Can we just focus on Albert Wesker? I don't care about these two other girls. I, I don't care about what's having, happening in the present. I, I don't care about really any of these characters. Uh, but that's that's what we expected anyway. It is a Resident Evil adaptation. After all, they, they haven't really done well. They haven't they haven't had a good run. You know, we had the, the Resident Evil fi uh, film franchise... Uh, which are fucking hilarious. You know, they're bad films, but they're hilarious just how dumb they are. The, the funniest aspect to them films is the person that works on this, on the, on the one film, completely goes mental with the ending. And then it goes on, the next person has to deal with that on the next film. And, and, it, and they just completely go, nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. So they are hilarious. Uh, and it, that's that's really been it. They, they, there's still a few like animated ones that I want to watch uh, at some point. I, I believe there's like Netflix ones as well. But yeah, I think it was pretty obvious. You know, we just recently had that other disaster. Uh, now we've got this one that's just sludge. Sludge is how I put it. Uh, but I'll let you go because we've now went for longer than we did yesterday. Uh, so I will see you tomorrow with an, with episode three.